Hey, Miles Becker here, milesbecker.com, and in this video, I'm gonna help you answer an incredibly important question or series of questions that you're gonna need to ask yourself and you're going to need to answer in order to achieve success selling whatever you're selling. That question is, what is your product's product's product? Once you understand the answer to that question, everything becomes easy. The needs, goals, desires of your target market become known. How to message and how to position your product or service in the marketplace becomes known. And what you'll end up doing when you answer these questions is you'll be able to meet your prospects in their head with a conversation that they're having with themselves in their mind. And when you do that and you enter that conversation effectively, they have a feeling of, ah, this person gets me or this product gets me or this brand gets me. And at that point, they know, like, and trust you because you're, you're speaking their language, if you will, and their likelihood of purchasing or becoming a lead goes up by magnitudes. Okay, so what we're really doing is we're going one level of meta beyond kind of an old sales example. And the old school sales example you may have heard of before, and I've got some other examples after this, but I wanna start here, is that you never sell a person a drill, you're selling them the whole. Right, And the concept is, it's an old sales education thing, is when someone's in their hardware store looking at the drills, they're not really, they don't care about the drills. They don't care about how many horsepower, they don't care about the bit size, they don't care about it that much. Plug in, electric, battery, who cares? All they care about is, can this device put the hole that I need in the thing I need a hole in? Because if the answer to that is yes, then they have a much higher likelihood of buying. And that's the only question they have in their mind. But we're taking this one step further, right? So the product in this one is the drill. The product's product is a hole, but we need to answer what's the product's product's product. And that product's product product is what is that hole going to do for that guy, right? So if we're talking about he's trying to hang a new flat screen television inside of his man cave, that is the conversation he has in his head when he walks into that hardware store. He's walking in like, okay, I gotta figure out how to hang my new 70 inch ultra plasma, whatever it is, on the wall, and I need that bad boy to stay, because that's a $2,000 TV, and man, I need to make sure this thing sticks. When the salesperson uncovers that that is the true desire of this individual, then sales become easy. Because a salesperson can say, okay, you're gonna be drilling through sheetrock and a stud, so you need this one. You might not have a power cable, so you need the battery-driven one. You're also gonna need these wall anchors. You're also gonna need this. And when they're conversing literally about how to hang that TV on the wall in the man cave, and that's the story that's coming out, and that's the conversation between the salesperson and the consumer, the sales become easy. And all the upsells, the anchors, the this, the plates, the backing, blah, 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 all of that is effortless. And that average sale is gonna go way, way up at that point. So how do you figure out what yours is? Let's say you do um, services. Let's say you do local SEO services or local uh, social media marketing services. What is your product's product's product, right? Well, first of all, it's, you know, you wanna get their brand presented effectively, but they don't really care about that, right? The, the owner of that business doesn't really care. You're gonna drive more traffic to their website. That's the product's product. They don't really care about that, right? What do they care about? Their phone's gonna ring. They're gonna get more customers coming in. They're gonna get more lead request forms. Whatever that end result is that that consumer, that that business owner in this situation has, that's what they care about. And you need to speak to them in those terms. So if you're selling services, whether they're WordPress services or social media marketing services, they don't, the business owner you're talking to does not care about your methodologies. They don't care about all the specifics of I'm gonna post three times a day for you organically on Facebook and I'm gonna do this and that and we're gonna target your audience. They don't care. What do they care about? They care about ROI, return on investment, and they care about the number of either, it's either phone calls or lead generations. There's going to be some metric to them that is one step before ROI, unless they're selling digital products. For me, I'm all about ROI, but a lot of local businesses, like a dentist, you're not gonna make a sale, right, from a click on Facebook to a click on a website. They're going to call and schedule an appointment, and oftentimes, that is the product's product product that they care about. So let's go another step deeper, right? Ever heard of Rolex watches? You know, any watch that costs more than $15 is jewelry. Let's be honest here, because a Rolex watch that costs five, 10, $25,000 or more does the exact same thing that your $15 Casio watch is going to do. And honestly, we all got cell phones in our pocket that all have watches on them. So why do people buy Rolex watches? Well, the product is a watch. The product's product is that it tells time. 
the product's product product is really powerful. It's status. It gives that individual of having that specific type of bling and that puts them in an elevated status around their peers because they've got that one. What do you think Bentley sells? Bentley, the automotive manufacturer that sells coupes and, and sedans that run 150, 200, 300, $500,000 and more. They're selling an auto automobile, right? They're selling the ability to get from point A to point B reliably, but that's not really what they're selling. They're selling status. They're selling that, that level of, I drive this one. It ain't keeping up with the Joneses. That's staying ahead of the Joneses. And that's one of those conversations and one of those things inside of people's heads that they're like, mm, how can I show to the world how powerful and successful I am? Grab a Rolly, spend $120,000, $150,000 on a, on a used Bentley and you look like you've got your stuff together even though they're probably just chasing the cash flow. So let's back scale this back because you, you might not be selling Rolexes or Bentleys. Don't even know where that came from. But let's scale this back. Let's say you're doing nutrition. You're a local fitness center or you're a local um, kind of a, a health coach per se or a fitness coach. What are you selling, right? Well, you're selling fitness services, right? You're, you're selling the ability for them to lose some weight and have some accountability. Great, that's the product's product. But what's the product's product's product? It's being able to put on that bikini in two and a half, three months when summer hits and feeling great about how good you look. It's about being able to go to that pool party in Vegas this spring and turning heads when you're walking by in your suit versus feeling like you need to keep a t-shirt on at all times, right? That is ultimately what you're selling in that situation. For the meditation stuff, yeah, we're selling meditation. Yeah, we're selling them the ability to feel good. We're selling them the ability to connect with a feeling of love and energy that flows throughout from within them. And when they realize that and they connect to I'm loved, I have connection to something greater in this world and that's the feeling that they get, boom. That's the powerful point they want to get to. Very few people are going around buying meditations because they feel like they want meditation. They're thinking about what will this do for me? How will this help me feel more joy and more love and more fulfillment? Or how will this help me release fear in my life? Now, I unfortunately can't kind of do this for everyone. Oh, there's one more example. Uh, somebody commented and it was like, I run a ready, quick, concrete business. And I thought this was a great example. They were looking on Facebook, trying to figure out how do I target people who want ready mix? I can't find anybody who wants quick set concrete. I can't find any interests on Facebook about quick set concrete. Of course you can't. No one cares about concrete ever. The only time we start to care about concrete is when it'll do something for us. What would someone want concrete for? Maybe they're doing a DIY backyard landscaping project. Okay, that's the product's product. Why are they doing that? Ah, because they have a nephew's wedding coming up in their backyard next year, or they're getting a whole new grill and they're gonna have the softball team over for barbecues this year. There's always one level deeper about what is not just the product going to do, but what is that product going to create for the end consumer? Then you gotta go one step beyond. Why do they want what that product will create? What is the end emotional result? They want to impress their softball team with how cool their homemade DIY backyard barbecue kitchen setup they built themselves. They want to impress their friends and that is why they want your concrete. Very abstract thinking. But if you go through that series of questions of what is the products, products, product and you get to that third level down at that point you're able to tune into the actual emotional either and it's either a push or a pull right it's either fear driven i'm escaping something or it's a push i'm going towards something else in my life and when you know what that is for your customer and you get in that conversation in their head of they're really trying to build out the dope backyard barbecue setup so they can impress all their friends then you can sell them the right ready mix that's not gonna crack, it's gonna look flawless, it's self-leveling, so everything shows up level, and it'll make you look like a pro mason versus the other guy's stuff that's gonna crack, it's gonna fall apart, it's not gonna be level, everything's gonna be kittywampus, and it's not gonna look great. When you're able to communicate what your product will do to your end user in that clear of terms about what it'll do for them emotionally and how it'll emotionally solve their needs, ding, 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 
you have just won my friend. And at that point you make a sale or you generate the lead or whatever that step is for your users. So if you haven't thought about this, it's definitely worth taking some time to journal it out or think about it on a walk because you really got to get understand of what is your products, product, product. If you're curious, Miles, what's this make money online stuff? What's the products, product, product for making money online or internet marketing? It's freedom. I'm helping you achieve freedom in your life. I'm not helping you make money online. I'm not helping you fire. I'm helping you achieve freedom, full-time freedom, full location freedom, full financial freedom. It's freedom. It's not the marketing tactics. It's not the Facebook course. It's not the go click here. It's not click funnels. It's not thrive themes. It's freedom. And the fact that I get that means that I'm able to speak to you in these terms to help you achieve the freedom you desire. And when I do that, you know, like, and trust me that much more, it puts me leaps and bounds above everyone else in this space trying to teach internet marketing, trying to teach how to make money online. It's because I get that and it's because I position things in this way is why that works. So do yourself a favor, dig deep. What is your products, products, product? If you can't figure that out or you want an idea or something, leave me a comment. I'm starting to get bombarded and an overwhelming number of comments, but I will answer every one I possibly can. So feel free to leave a comment or if you figured out what yours is and you had an aha moment, leave me a comment. I want to read it. I want to see it. I love hearing about your aha moments. That's the fuel that kind of fires me up to keep me going because that puts you one step closer to the true freedom you desire and that you deserve. All right, Miles Beckler here. Give me a thumbs up in YouTube. Click subscribe. Thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate it and I will see you on the next video.